Tonight, police are investigating the second deadly shooting in the valley, believed to be gang related, in less than a week. Metro officers say a man was shot and killed in the Central Valley near MLK and Lake Mead this afternoon. And on Thursday night, an 11 year old girl was shot and killed in a North Las Vegas home in what police describe as a tragic case of mistaken identity. Police are still searching for suspects in both shootings, and investigators are asking witnesses to come forward to help track them down. 8 News Now reporter Darlene Melendez joins us live from the scene of today's shooting with more on law enforcement's call to action. Darlene. Sasha, a 20 year old man was shot to death in broad daylight as he was walking in this area near Doolittle Park. His shooter is still at large tonight, and police are pleading with the public for answers. As a police department, we cannot do it alone. We need the help from the community. A call to action from Metro Police after a 20 year old man was killed on Lake Mead near 8th Street Sunday afternoon. Police say he was walking with his girlfriend when another man came up from behind and shot him to death. The shooting targeted, the suspect still at large. Police with no leads other than a possible gang relation. Witnesses quiet. Just days ago in North Las Vegas, 11 year old Angie Erivez was killed when a group of suspects sprayed her home near Los Yen Centennial with gunfire. Multiple shooters believed to be gang affiliated targeted the wrong home. An innocent child killed, her family devastated. Police desperate for answers from the public. Now I'd like to take a moment to talk about a very serious matter. This is indeed a tragedy. And we cannot forget that we have an innocent, deceased 11 year old child. Multiple suspects are still at large in the 11 year old's death. One still on the run after shooting a man Sunday in broad daylight. Two jurisdictions with the same message come forward and share information. That would keep you safe, and it's also going to allow for the community to hold someone accountable for such a horrific crime that occurs out here on a, a busy street. Help bring justice. Our plea. This to the valley and especially anyone who may have information on this case. Do the right thing and contact the police. And with suspects still at large for both of these cases, both Metro and the North Las Vegas Police Department urge anyone with any information to not be afraid and come forward. Or you can also contact Crime Stoppers at that number on your screen to remain anonymous. Reporting live, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.